Hey guys, Provider here, and welcome back to another Bloodborne episode. So I know I normally only do two to three of these a day, normally three, and this is going to be my fourth one, but I figured, why not take a break from my self-loathing party and show you guys something that I missed. Yes, I missed it. I brought it up, but I missed it. So instead of going back to leading to going back to that gate that we opened up, we are going to go to let's go to Church of the Good Chalice. Sorry, I don't want to ruin where that area takes you. So, I had to figure out a different way to say it. But, here we are, where we killed the Blood Star Beast. And if you remember, there was an area here where I said there was a spider, but I guess I had missed it. Well, I just ran through here on another character and I found it no. I was running through ignoring stuff and I ended up getting it and my dog is barking for no fucking reason so. ignore the barking in the background because if someone was here they could fucking call me so hold on Rick! Sorry about the yelling, fellas and ladies. Whoever's watching, just sorry about the fucking yelling. So, the spider is I just fucking heard it. Okay, whatever. I guess I fucking missed it again because of the way I went. But the spider is back here in that corner right there. So with that being said, we can go back to ignoring every one of these fuckers and go to the light lamp I should have went to to run there but, oh well I showed you where the spider was and that was my main purpose in the beginning of this video now let's go back We can just go here. Sorry about the quiet, guys. Like I said, I was in a self-loathing party. I'm, I've got lights flashing in my face from my speaker. All right. Back at Yusefka's clinic here, and we will just quickly run back to exactly where we were in the last video. Well, obviously before I ran to the light lamp. And by quickly, I obviously forgot this character has no fucking endurance, so I can't run anywhere quickly. Alright, so once you come back to where we opened up that gate, came out of the hole... You just go in the other gate that's open. There's nothing in this area right here. Run down. And again. Normally want to search everywhere. If this is the, one of the first videos you've watched of mine. Yes, I recommend searching everywhere. Seeing how I know where most things are in this game a few and I've mentioned those in other videos like there's a door that I don't know how to fucking open and if someone would comment on how to open that door I'd highly appreciate it or at least just tell me that it opens and give me like the general area of where I need to go to find out how to open it 
It would all be greatly appreciated. Why does it... What the hell is going on here? That's what's going on here. Can't see the ladder. Okay. Why don't you climb up the ladder? I guess it technically says we're still in Eusephicus Clinic because we're just in that general area. So, I might as well... Hey, fucking bird. Couldn't even hit me, but you got me stuck. I might as well tell you where I'm at. I am on top of Eusephicus Clinic. And now, I am inside Eusephicus Clinic. That little fog crap that and whispering that just went inside me is again, it's saying I entered a different place. So, I'm guessing they call this Central Yarnum, even though we're on top of Eusephicus Clinic. So again, the main reason I wanted to come here is mainly for the storyline. So, Yusefka said she wanted to help those yet to become full beasts. If you recognize this room, it is because this is exactly where we started out. Unable to acquire Yusefka's blood vial due to inventory or storage max so that being said as you can see I have Yusefka's blood vial I haven't used it yet here is the door to central Yarnum that we opened in the beginning of the game this is Yusefka Whoever started impersonating her turned Yusefka herself into a beast. And you get Kanehurst summons. In another video I was talking about Kanehurst and how you can't get to that area unless you find a way to get there. This is that way. I do believe. It's either... Okay, spoiler alert. So if you don't want to find out a spoiler, mute the next, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. It's either you get that... Kanehurst summons for you, or you get it for Alfred so he can kill the Queen of Kanehurst. Alright. Now, back to the video. You see these blobs laying all over the place. It's the imposter. Healing, quotation marks. The infected. I don't know about you, but they don't seem very healed to me. I may be playing a little different than I normally do on my ah, other playthrough. Lit sense. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But. If you refuse to leave, oh well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. <laughs> See? Bitch. <laughs> Seems like she's breathing a little heavy, though, so. Let's go find out what she's doing, shall we? Now, if I'm playing a little different than I normally am, it's because on my other playthrough, I've beaten the game twice. So, enemies are quite a bit harder. 
okay by quite a bit harder I mean still takes one or two hits but I'm doing like a thousand damage not a hundred all right so you come in here and she is either lying okay bitch she's either lying on this table getting ready to give birth or she's about to fuck your ass up and in my case she's about to fuck my ass up if you can't tell her health is barely moving ooh hey bitch calm down Ah, uh, that's right. Okay. So, if you kill... R Son of a bitch. Okay, if you... Fuck me. If you kill the boss at Bergenworth first, she will be on the table. Give me birth. Oh, yeah? Whatever, bitch. Look here, ho. You aren't killing me. You're not doing it. Just stop. Oh, and we just have fucking antidotes or something. I hate this bitch. Hey now, ho. You're not allowed to fucking heal. I bet you fucking will. Why the hell are you allowed to fuck? Oh, I hate you so much. <sighs> okay, this bitch is. Oh, how exciting! This bitch is ridiculous. I've never worked on a hunter before. I honestly don't think I've ever heard that because I don't think I've ever fucking died to her. She needs some of her hooker friends. And then you need to bring some cheesecake. Alright. So, I am again in Yusefka's clinic at the first room. But Excuse me, sick floor. So we can run right back to the bitch that killed me. Yet, hopefully, this time, I kill her. Because I don't know about you, but I really don't want to end this video from me dying to some hunter. Okay, she's she's not even a hunter because she said she wishes she could try, try... She's always wanted to try her hand at a hunter. And I keep looking at these thinking they're notes or something, but they're not. It looks like they're just a fucking cake dish upside down. So, hey bitch, stop it, we're starting to talk like this, okay, alright, yep, yeah. come on, that's right, alright, I need to get that. Switch so quick. Alright. Now. Nope. That was a terrible idea. She's using the repeating pistol. Alright, so if you can get the fucking staggering, the time for the shooting down, she will go down 
a lot fucking easier than what she's going down for me. Apparently, I can't get it down this go round because she's kicking my ass. And I don't have anything to go against her either, except my fucking fire weapon. I don't know why I used that. What the hell is this bitch trying to use? No, you fucking skank. Alright, so we're gonna run down here because I just noticed my blood, blood echoes. We're gonna heal because this bitch healed. She pissed me off. She was almost dead. So, I will say yes, the fire is helping me. No, you whore. Okay, so that is another spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Is an actual boss move. So. I won't tell you what boss uses that move, but it's a whole lot fucking stronger when the boss uses it. That's a boss I fucking hate. Alright, let's get back in here and see what we got. Ooh, I know why I wanted to come here. Oh well. So you can get one of the three umbilical cords here. Obviously I didn't get it because the bitch wasn't in labor. It's okay though. There's two more chances. And I honestly probably won't get either one of them, but hell, I can try, can't I? Alright, so this video is going to be a lot shorter than the others. Because I've got 16,000 butt echoes. I'm going to return to the Hunter's Dream to travel anyways. Yeah. And we will end the video here. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me. Also, In the old hunters, not the old, the abandoned workshop. Hunters have about, but I am with you. Of course, I do, isn't that? Okay, Farewell, in the abandoned good workshop, time. you seen an abandoned doll there. Do we have time to run there? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I guess this is just a fucking catch up video because. I'm terrible at YouTube videos apparently, so I apologize. Should have done this before I went to Yusefka's clinic, but we've got time for it. Wait a minute. Why did Okay. I'm being real forget forgot forgetful guys I've got oh, my life's ruining my gameplay it's terrible so I got crap going on in my life so ignore what just happened there uh, there is the Headstone that leads you straight to the abandoned old workshop. So you don't have to do all that falling and rolling and crap again to get to it. But there are things down there that you need to pick up. I'm not going to pick them up because that would pretty much be like, I don't know, like an... Mm, two or three minutes of gameplay 
that I'd have to use to run back there and just pick something up that I know you guys can find. There's supposed to be an ornament here. For the doll. I don't know what the hell just died, but okay. Small hair ornament. Go back to the hunter's dream. I was really about to get pissed off. I thought it was on the doll itself, but again, my mind's elsewhere for this video. So seriously guys, I apologize. So if you stuck around for the whole video, you Ah <sighs> I'm what is it? We'll see that now you get a give small hair on it. What is this? I I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel a yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Ah <sighs> Alright. So before we end the video we will see what that tear stone is. And it's not in that. I know where it's at. Okay. So, the tear stone. Silver shining tear stone used to gain droplet blood gem. Uh. Excuse me. So a doll sheds neither blood nor te tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Whoever thinks this is precious must be troubled by severe naveti. So we'll use that. Tear blood gems. They said it was a blood gem, so, and you get this, hit points continue to recover, plus two. So, right now we have this equipped, where it just ups the physical attack, which does nothing because we have the fire equipped, but it continues to recover hit points. So we will just add that, and there we are guys, I'll end the video here. Um, as always, if you stuck around, hit that like button. If you want to see all of my content, subscribe. Turn the notifications on, and you will always see when I'm when I've posted another another video. Once we hit 10 subscribers, I will start going live with my videos, and you guys can comment and I will answer those comments as I'm playing and as always if you have any trouble at all within the game and you need help and you've got that beckoning bell message me in the comments say you need help and I will well say you need help and give me your PlayStation name I'll add you and we'll get your problem fixed. Until the next time, guys, I'll see you around.